Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this your boy Warzone Jones, and I'm coming right back at you with a pro wrestling related type of video. You know, I want to be talking about the return of Bobby Lashley and a, and a little bit of a couple of debuts guys who are coming out of NXT. I want to also be talking about that also as well, but, but first I want to be talking about Bobby Lashley because to me this is definitely very, very big news. I was always a fan of Bobby Lashley and when he left the WWE, you no, know, I didn't I didn't want to see him go. I definitely didn't want to see him go. You know, Bobby Lashley to me was a real potential superstar. Like to me, he could have quite possibly been the next best thing. And, you know, I remember people used to compare him to, Bob, uh, to Brock Lesnar because, you know, like his size. And then he had that amateur wrestling background just like Brock Lesnar. And then he also even did MMA just like Brock Lesnar. He, he never fought in the UFC. Um, he fought in smaller promotions outside of the UFC. Um, did pretty well in MMA. He didn't have, like, a great career or anything like that. But did pretty well in MMA, definitely. I saw him win a couple of fights. <clears throat> And, you know, he wrestled in TNA wrestling. Uh, I believe he wrestled in, like, overseas in Japan also as well. Um, I saw him a little bit in TNA wrestling. By the time he joined TNA wrestling, though, I, I wasn't watching TNA wrestling like that. Um, that was unfortunate. But I do remember seeing a couple of his matches in TNA wrestling. You know, Bobby Lashley is still fit. He still has that, like, Terminator-type physique. Bobby Lashley, I'm pretty sure, can still go in the ring. So Bobby Lashley's been out of WWE for about, like, 10 years years and I've heard different reasons why he had left the WWE something more like Michael Hayes I remember like they had like fired his girlfriend who at the time was a WWE diva Crystal Marshall I don't know if he's still with her now but I remember like hearing like it was a bunch of things like this that all like basically combined together and which eventually led up to him leaving so when he left I was definitely shocked because I didn't understand he wasn't in the WWE that long to begin with anyway I think he was in the WWE for about maybe two years either a year or two either one not exactly you know for sure but Bobby Lashley came back and I am glad to see that he's back because like I said I am a fan of Bobby Lashley so there are so many wrestlers that he can have real, real good matches with. There's so much better talent in the WWE today than there was back then when he was in the WWE. So it's a real good time for Bobby Lashley to return. He says he came back because he has unfinished business, and I definitely agree. Bobby Lashley definitely has unfinished business. He never got the world title. He never got that world heavyweight title. He never got that WWE title. So he was the ECW champion. That was the biggest thing he ever had. They tried to make him the face of that terrible ECW uh, that they had on Sci-Fi. Didn't really, I would say, really too much work out. But Bobby Lashley was the face of the, no, that company. They was definitely trying to build Bobby Lashley to be the next best thing because they put a lot into his character. They really did. So he was always a real good in-ring performer. I remember him and John Cena had a pretty good match at, at the Great American Bash. Not really did want to Bobby Lashley to win, but he didn't. But those guys did have a good match. I do like Bobby Lashley. I'm a fan of Bobby Lashley. And hopefully Bobby Lashley can have an even better run in the WWE than he had last time. I really do hope so. But on to some of these uh, debuts on Raw. We had a couple of debuts. Which, let's start with Ember Moon. Ember Moon. From what I've seen from Ember Moon, she is good. She is definitely, definitely good. The girl is can, can go in the ring. I would say she's just as good as Asuka. Uh, she is definitely um, just as good as like Charlotte Flair. When it comes to in-ring ability, she is just as good as anyone else in the WWE. So, I am really, really am interested to see what she brings to the table. So, I saw her here and there in the WWE, I saw her, I mean, not, not in WWE, in NXT, I saw her here and there, because, no, I don't watch NXT like that, but I saw her here and there, and from what I've seen from her, she's good, she's good, her look is different from everyone else, and she's definitely very good and talented, um, we have the authors of pain, yes, I do agree, we do definitely need another tag team, because, let's be honest here, seeing the same matchups, with tag team matches can get boring real, real, real quick. So the Authors of Pain is a real good addition to either Raw or SmackDown, wherever you want to put them. So I know they're going to have a superstar shake up pretty soon. Um, 
They're going to put them on either show. I don't care which one. Just make sure you have them there because we need some new um, faces in the tag team divisions in the WWE. Definitely. So, this is What's On Jones. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and click that subscribe button for more wrestling videos and other videos that I do do on this channel. And I also want to say, you know, a lot of people were probably wondering, you know, why I was gone. I shouldn't say a lot of people because, hey, I don't get a lot of views. But <laughs> one of the reasons why I was gone, basically, is for as long as I was because I didn't have any internet, which means I can't upload. So that was the reason why I was gone. It's not because I was tired or anything like that or I just didn't want to do them. Um, I didn't have any internet, which means I couldn't make any uploads. So this is Was On Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Yo, I'm out. Deuce.